Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative with another Divi tutorial. Today I'm going to show you something that I see really trending and becoming popular. It's how to add highlights and accents and underlines to your text in your Divi website. This is really exciting. I really I have several different options. I'm really excited to show you. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is add our multi-line text and that's just what I call it. Uh, we're gonna put a background behind that and I've seen this in um, popular header hero sections lately and um, go over here to the tutorial. That's where we're gonna find a lot of the code snippets. It's gonna be helpful if you have that handy along with this video. So the first one we call it um, multi-line highlight. So copy the class here. We have to copy that and put that into our text module or any other module that we're, we're attempting to add this highlighted text to. So we're gonna put the class there. Um, of course, make sure there's no periods. Then we're gonna get the snippet. So go back here to the written tutorial, just copy this whole thing. And what we're gonna do is put it in the page level CSS. So right here is the page CSS um, settings and then just put it in there and suddenly we have that. Now you might want to note that this is targeting the H2 so I have this set as an H2. So if you had an H1 or H3 or just plain paragraph text you would want to change that H2 right here. Alright next one we call it a text callout. So here I have an example and actually I have two examples here. So this one's a little different. It works with a span tag. So what we're going to do is just copy this snippet here. And I'm going to show you what's going on with this. So let's go inside this text module. We want to go to our text tab so that we can see the code. And let's just put it, um, go right in here and paste. And what you're going to see is it's going to say text and then span class equals PA callout example. And then there's a closing span. And um, we don't need that on the line, but so that may be a little confusing, but basically the span is allowing us to add a class in between um, different words. So we're, the words that are between the span is what we're actually going to style, okay? So where the span starts and where it ends, we're targeting the word in between. So you can change this word to whatever you want. So you're not going to be able to see it yet until we get the snippet. So let's get back here again. Um, let's go ahead and grab this first one. Back to our page settings, advanced tab, custom CSS. We'll just add it in here with the other one. So you can see what happened there. It's, um, it's targeting that class that we put in the span. Remember that? So it's just here you can see you can change the background color. Uh, the font size we just have to inherit, which keeps it the same as these other ones. You could change that. Padding, that's just going to be the space around here. And we had a little border radius. Um, so you can you can play around with these settings and style it a little bit differently. So let's see. We do have another one in here. And this other one was just a slightly different. And it had, you know, a different color and stuff like that. So you can play around with those. Okay, the third one. This one's uh, really popular. I've had so many people um, in the Facebook groups asking how to do this, and I've been sending them uh, the link. But this one is very similar to the one we just did where we have to copy a span. Let's go ahead and copy that. Get back in here to number three. And of course, it defaults to the text tab. Let's just put it, um, not sure, we'll just put it in the middle here. So again, we don't need that line break. So get the snippet. This all becomes second nature once you do it a couple of times. But so if you just wanted this one, you know, this is all you would put in here. But then I use the page settings here as an example. You would ultimately want to put these in the Divi theme options or in your child theme. But see how easy that was? So here again, we have this class, PA collar highlight. And we have, um, we're actually using a box shadow. It's a little bit of a trick using an inset box shadow. That's how we get the line to come up behind the text. So a lot of people were asking how to get 
that behind it because it's you know it's easy to put like a border bottom or a text decoration but this method is a little different so again let's just go in here um, and again let's just say we wanted to change this word um, to something else um, see that we can do anything we want inside the span tags all right let's go to the next one Next one's actually more similar to the first one where we have to add a class. So let's copy this, PA Bold Highlight. Now what this one does, <laughs> this one's a, it's definitely a little different. It's an interesting little trick. So I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm doing the wrong thing. Go in here and add the class to the module right here. And then we'll get our snippet. So it's actually, if you notice in this CSS here, it says, PA bold highlight, and then we're targeting paragraph text, and then we're targeting strong. We're also doing H2 strong, and the reason I did that is because I'm using an H2 in the demo. So the strong is means bold. It's HTML. So let's copy this, and once we put it in here, anything that we have bold, where this um, classes applied. So remember we put this PA bold highlight into this. So now I realize you have to realize that I do have my H2 styled bold. I, I realize that. But let's just just for a little quick example, let's say we wanted to put this here and we make it bold. You see what happens? It's a matter of uh, when that anything that's bold or strong um, gets highlighted. So it's a really quick, simple way to add that to um, your text. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed adding those accents and highlights and underlines to your Divi website. If you've enjoyed that, be sure to leave a comment on YouTube or on the blog. Let me know what you want to see next. Feel free to subscribe. We do a lot of tutorials like this, and we'll see you in the next video.